So do you want to make change in your life? Do you want to start doing things differently? Do you want to actually make your dreams come true? Well, I'm going to tell you where you've been fucking up all this time. And this is in the vision statement. Now, where do people fuck up usually with that thing? It's uh, what they think is um, when you want to achieve something, when you want to actually make something big happen or change your life completely, you just want to focus on all the good things you're going to get, you know? Oh, I want to lose weight because I'll be so happy and it's going to be so amazing. But the thing about that is that things and change and success, it's not brought on through um, just, you know, wanting things because you want them and then you don't want them. It's brought on by how much you're willing to sacrifice. Always equate success with sacrifice. Whenever you see somebody successful, you can always measure their success by how much they're sacrificed. And if they haven't sacrificed enough yet, usually the success is very short lasting. So what I suggest here is that you try this new idea of a vision statement where instead of just saying what you want to get, you actually do the next couple of things. So first, first thing you want to write down your life the way you want it to be with a present first person perspective. So you write down, you know, I'm waking up and doing this and I'm living in the mansion and I have this much money and I'm happy with this. And you want to use as many emotions as possible. You know, I wake up happy and I'm very relaxed and you want to make it as, as visceral as possible. Now where this, uh, where I bring my sort of take on it, you know, my different thing about it is that the second thing you write down is what are you willing to sacrifice to get what you want? And you want to keep writing things that you're going to sacrifice and really ask yourself what are you willing to sacrifice, including beliefs, comfort, uh, you know, time. Um, and just ask yourself, how much am I willing to sacrifice and actually make sure that you write it down and commit to sacrificing different things. Once you feel like the things you want to get and things you're willing to sacrifice are sort of even out, you want to do the final part of the statement where you write down the following. You write down, Dear God or Dear Universe or Dear Me, I still don't know how to get to where I want to get, but now that I've set my subconscious to it, I promise and commit that once I see a course of action that will push me in that direction, I will immediately and fully uh, take that course until its completion or until I see an even better uh, course that will take me even further. Now what this does, this primes your subconscious to start looking for different opportunities and things you can actually do to get to where you want to get. So this is a process, this is like an incubation and once the thing pops up because you're guaranteed and committed, you're going to be subconsciously very ready to go get it. And you're going to keep finding new reasons why you should do it, uh, including different motivations and fears, and your life is going to change accordingly. It's really as if you create your own reality by your own order. But again, just like how you order something on the menu, you have to pay the equivalent amount. If you don't actually promise what you're going to commit to it and what you're going to sacrifice, it's not really going to work. So make sure you actually make the commitments and the sacrifices necessary uh, and you are ready to take whatever opportunity comes up and sacrifice whatever is needed and you're going to get really cool things happening in your life. Lots of drama, lots of changes. Uh, but again, it's something you've ordered. So even if it looks weird, even if bad shit starts happening or good shit suddenly starts happening, just know that you've ordered it, okay? We're gonna talk about it more in another video, but again, th this is not random. This is happening because it's supposed to happen. It's part of the process that you've ordered yourself and you've asked for. So till next time, start doing your vision statement today and you're gonna see some massive changes in the next two years and I promise you'll come back to me and say, oh my God, it happened, just like how you said. Talk to you next time.